Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 43. From day number 41, yesterday and day before yesterday, day number 42 and day number 41, we have been talking about a topic of prime factors. Let's find prime factors of some numbers. We've been asked. We're being asked to list all prime factors, all prime factors of the following quantities. The very first one, the very first one we have is 144. 144. We learned yesterday that in order to find the prime factors, we must we must start dividing it. We must start dividing it by the lowest prime factor that we can find. The lowest prime factor that we can find that goes evenly that 144 goes evenly into is 2 because it's, it's an even number. Let's divide by 2. 14 has 7 2's and 4 has 2 2's. 72 again turns out to be an even number. Let's divide, divide by 2 one more time. 7 has 3 2's. 7 has 3 2's. The remaining one goes and joins the 2 becomes 12 and 12 has 6 2's. Oh, it's an even number one more time. Let's do one more time with 2. 3 has 1 2. The remaining one goes and joins the 6 becomes 16 and 16 has 8 2's. Oh, it's even number one more time. Let's do one more time. We get a 9 and finally we divide by 3 and we get a 3. Since we hit a prime number at the end, since we have a prime number at the end, that's where the story ends. Prime factors, prime factors, which are also sometimes known as divisors of 144 are, well, Actually, I, uh, I jumped ahead of myself. Let's, since, since I left no room, let's do it down here. So what we find is that 144, 144 can be written as 1, 2, 3, 4. 2 raised to 4 times 1 and 2. 3 raised to 3 squared. 144 can be written as 2 to the 4th and 3 squared. Therefore, the prime factors of 144 are 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Let's do one more. You do it yourself as soon as I set it up, you do it yourself. 500, 585. Pause the video and do it yourself. 585. Well, the very first thing we need to ask ourselves is, who do we start dividing by? It ends in a 5, 585 ends in a 5. Should we divide this number by 5? Should we start the process with 5? Or can we find a lower number that happens to be a prime number? If there happens to be another lower prime number, then we must start with the lowest possible prime number that there is that we can divide 585 into evenly. And we notice here that 5 plus 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, and 10 plus 8 is 18. What we find, what we find is that the sum of the digits sum of the digits is 18 and since the sum of the digits is divisible by 3 since the sum of the digits is divisible by 3 then we know now that this number must also be divisible by 3 we learned our divisibility rule earlier in the process earlier in the course I am I'm, I'm going to remark one more time I have said this thing a number on a number of occasions and I'm going to say it one more time in any given video if you're watching day number 43 I take it for granted I assume that you have already watched all the other videos from day number 1 through 42 and have mastered the material that we learned, have mastered the concept that we have learned in the first 42 days. Don't go uh, willy-nilly here and there. You must go in a, uh, in a systematic, uh, systematic and regimented manner. Day number 1 through 42 first before you watch 43. In one of those videos, I don't know which one, but in one of those videos in, in the past we learned what are known as divisibility rules. And in divisibility rule, we learn that a number is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. 18 is divisible by 3, therefore this number is divisible by 3, therefore we must be begin our process not by 5, but with 3. Let's start, shall we? And if it makes it easier, I can do it here for you. If it makes it easier for you, we divide by 3. How many 3's does 5 have? 5 has 1 3. 5 has 1, 3. The remaining 2 goes and joins the 8 becomes 28. This is also something we have learned also. also. 
watch the watch the division watch the division uh, quiz and you will learn this process as to how to divide a number without a calculator the remaining two goes and joins the 8 becomes 28 28 has 9 threes 9 threes are 27 the remaining one the remaining one goes and joins the 5 becomes 15 15 has 5 threes in other words 585 divided by 3 is 195 one more time, we're going to do the same thing here. 5 has 1 3, the remaining 2 goes and joins the 8, becomes 28. 28 has 9 threes. 9 threes are 27, the remaining 1 goes and joins the 5, becomes 15, and 15 has 5 threes. You must have the concentration, otherwise it won't work. Again, we notice that 1 plus 9 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, which means this number is also divisible by 3. Let's divide by 3 one more time. How many threes does 1 have? 1 has no threes. That one goes and joins the 9 becomes 19. How many threes does 19 have? 19 has 6, six threes. 6 threes are 18. The remaining one goes and joins the 5 becomes 15 and 15 has 5 threes. 6 plus 5 is 11 and 11 is not divisible by 3 which means this number is no longer divisible by 3. We must now divide by 5. How many 5 does 6 have? 6, six has 1 5. The remaining one goes and joins the 5 becomes 15. 15 has 3 fives. Since 13 happens to be a prime number, that's where the story ends. What we conclude, what we find is that, what we find is that 585, 585 is simply equal to 3 times 3, 3 squared times 5 times 13. And therefore, Prime factors of 585 are 2, no, not 2, what the hell, are 3, 5, and 13. 585 has 3 prime factors, namely 3, 5, and 13. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. How about 72? 72 72 is an even number let's get going then divide by 2 7 has 3 2's the remaining one goes and joins the 2 becomes 12 and 12 has 6 2's 36 is an even number let's divide by 2 3 has 1 2 the remaining one goes and joins the 6 becomes 16 and 16 has 8 twos. 18 death is an even number, let's divide by 2 and 18 has 9 twos. Let's, we can no longer divide by 2, 9 will be divided by 3, we hit a prime number, that's where the story ends and what we conclude is that, what we conclude is that 72, 72 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3 which is 2 cubed times 3 times 3, 3 squared. And therefore the prime factors of 72 are 2 and 3. 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. 56. Do it on your own as I always tell you. Do it on your own. Fifty-six is an even number. Let's begin by two. How many five does two have? How many two does five have? Five has two twos. Two twos are four. The remaining one goes and joins the six becomes sixteen and sixteen has eight twos. Twenty-eight is an even number. Let's divide by two. Two has one two and eight has four twos. Fourteen is an even number. Let's divide by two one more time and we get seven. Seven is the prime number. That's where the story ends. And what we conclude is that 56. 56 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2, 2 cubed times the 7. And therefore the prime factors of 56, prime factors of 56 are 2, 2 and 7. And that is all she wrote for today. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.